tell us after this play? Third down and 25. And George going for it all for Moss, and he's linked with Dion, and Dion busts it up. <laughs> So the first time we've seen the, the big matchup manifest itself, victory to Dion. Les? Now Dion is going to come back out onto the field. So much for a bad hamstring. Right. A very ephemeral bad hamstring. That's yeah. the last play. And remember, you know, Dion is definitely a showman. Look at this, huh? Well, yeah. what does that mean? That means he's uh He's I, I ready to he's return hit. punts now? Either that or he's, he's playing possum. To do that, Mitch Berger oh, to pop. Absolutely, don't play anymore. And he snuck back on the field. He did. He actually sneaked back out there because Gailey said, "I didn't know he was back in there until I looked out and I saw him in the secondary." Booming punt by Berger. The type, the type that Sanders returned at the 31, but no, he is tackled at the 37. Chris Walsh, a wide receiver, a guy who's been around for a while. One on one with Dion, and he wins that battle. So zero on that end, minus 18 on the sack end, and that's the reason for that. And Emmett Smith is off to the races. See you inside the 30, and they'll get him from behind, no or will they not? Oh. No, the rookie can't bring him down. Kenny Wright caught up at the 10, but Emmett was not to be denied. 63 yards for the great one. So the offense back on the field. They go back to Emmett Smith. He has another big hole. Can you believe what's going on here? Emmett Smith. Oh, man. Right to the Hall of Fame. Are you kidding me? You take a look at this defense. 20, so the Vikings still with that. That first completion after that was taken away. Now they get it. It's Carter. Carter with a nice move to get around Woodson. And then he uh, run, gets... Well, it's up <laughs> as he is uh, knocked out of bounds by Darren Hambrick. He's one of the great all-time receivers in professional football history, and there goes Ooh. Emmett Smith. Might be a little tired. Quick flip, first down, Carter. And he gets taken down at the five-yard line. Uh, Dion got a hand on his shirt, and it's a first and goal. What makes this guy so great? Not Deion Sanders, but... Chris Carter is making catches like like he just made there and making them look easy and talking to Jeff George and saying why did you come here he said well when you get to play with players like this they make it look easy they make you look better than you are and this is the group that I wanted to play with for years they've been running that fade three to the right third down and goal now if you have Randall Cunningham you might run the quarterback draw here and George throws back to the end zone they get it it's Moss making the catch for the touchdown George would need about 45 yards to get him into Anderson's field goal range. First and 10. From the 20. And Jeff's going to swing one out here to Carter. And then Carter is out of bounds. He's covered there by Sanders with 16 ticks left. You know, when you come into this game and you know that Dion has got a hamstring problem, why not go after him? They have four games in 18 days beginning today. At the ninth at the 29-yard line, it is Carter making the catch. Stay in bounds, and they finally get him out of bounds. They are going to mark him out at the 34-yard line. Izell Reese bounced him out. And, and it's going to take players like Chris Carter to get the Vikings back into this game. A great straight arm on the sideline to get extra yardage to get that extra two or three yards. By the numbers, let's take a look at Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders was in the game for a total of 28 plays, as you can see. They only threw his way twice. Senses a blitz. And he gets one. And he throws, and it's caught by Carter, who gets inside Smith. Runs around Deion Sanders. Chased down by Deion. Caught by Deion. Flag at the end of the play. And you're going to have a face mask on Deion Sanders. But as I said, this team can hit you and light you up at a minute's notice. And you've got to be careful. And right there. Jeff George reading the defense, calling a blitz, and hitting Chris Carter against Deion Sanders. Now, that is the type of confidence that you expect to see from the quarterback of the Minnesota Vikings. And he's thrown off his back foot. He's got the arm strength to get it there. 
And this is what you do if you're a receiver. You put the ball away, and you run, and you make extra yards. And nobody says that you have to be tackled and take it. You just give it, and that's exactly what he does right there to Deion Sanders. 39-yard pickup. I just love the way Chris Carter plays. They have uh, Jerry Ball listed at 330 pounds. He's probably more like 340. From the 30-yard line, that is Holden. What a catch by Carter as he got position on Sanders. A 22-yard gain. Almost looks like he caught the back of the ball. How we showed earlier how Ernie Mills of the Cowboys allowed the defender Hitchcock to get inside of him on a post route. And right here, Chris Carter doesn't allow it. And look at the hit he takes from Deion Sanders and still holds on to the football. Everybody talked about... Second down and seven for going to the Rosenberg from the 44-yard line. You can see Jeff is he's a little indecisive at the line of scrimmage. Trying to audible. Is he going to audible? What's going on here? Throws on the run. Carter wide open. Took care of Kevin Smith. With that in cut, takes it to the 27 and a first down. And he made the audible. That was the last time he audible to the same play when we saw him go against uh, Deion Sanders. You could tell this guy knows how to ignite this franchise. And first down at the 48-yard line. It is George throwing. And it's caught by Moss. And Randy pulls it in and stays in bounds at the 28-yard line. You could see that. There's Smith and there's Reese, and he would have come down inbounds with the football, and the officials rule that they knocked him out of bounds or forced him out of bounds. First down of the 27. In the meantime, Leroy Horde is on the bench. They're working on first down at the 22-yard line. Moss gets by Sanders, skirts the sideline. First down. runs him out of bounds now they're going to say he stepped out back at the 14 yard line and it won't be a first one minute it's Chris Carter and now it's Randy Moss and this is what everybody here came to see these two guys going at each other the call he was on the line The fireworks go off before Carter makes the catch. That may be the most amazing touchdown catch in history. And it's creating some tense moments on the field. Toby Goins kick. Randy Moss back to get it at the 21-yard line. And Randy to the short side of the field and trips and falls. Otherwise, he might have broken it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but plays like that are what keep the game close. They do. You know, and it, it's just, he had an opportunity to take a, a full length. He falls down. Now, all of a sudden, the Dallas defense has an opportunity to keep the game close. Some athletes have that special ability, Al, and certainly this guy is one of them. Mm -hmm. And realize that coaching the Dallas Cowboys is a just a huge task to keep these guys from reading all the negative stuff that they, they, they've read the last few weeks. Second and five, and it's Chris Carter making the catch. Picks up a couple. It'll be third down and three in three or four weeks. Third down and four from the 48. Dallas sends everybody, and the catch is made, and it's a first down. Carter knowing exactly where he was, exactly how far he had to go for the first down and salutes himself with a red cash and move. Roll to their left and throw back to the right. It's a design play because of the arm strength of Jeff George. Charlie Williams outmatched by Randy Moss. Remember, Kevin Smith is on the sideline with a bruised knee. And you saw in that series that they continue to throw to the right side to work against Charlie Williams. And when you get that matchup right there and you have the explosiveness of a Jeff George arm, you take advantage of it.